In this video, I want to talk about two popular Christmas niches and if they are safe to upload on Too Much by Amazon. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand platforms. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now, before I get into those two Christmas niches, I just want to do a quick sales update. So yesterday, I actually ended up with $110. That was my best day of the month and year, so that was really cool. But today, you know, I crashed down all the way to only two sales. I do have one in UK, but in the US only two sales. So, you know, sometimes you're gonna have a really good day, then you know, it might not be the best. That's just how merch goes. It's just how business goes. It's gonna be up, down, sometimes in the middle, uh, but no big deal. For the month, we're sitting at uh, $996. So, you know, still looking pretty good. We will see how the month ends, but you know, I'm almost kind of at what I did all of September. La uh, last month I did 1,064. And I'm just maybe like, you know, a couple days or a day away from that. So very cool. Um, but now let's get into, oh, and if you want to follow me on Instagram and see, because I post my daily sales on Instagram, like right here, daily sales for merch and daily sales from Etsy. I also post like entrepreneur picks, uh, gym picks, uh, kind of like life in Mexico. Um, like this video right here from the hurricane. Where is it? This was pretty wild. This one right here. So I don't know if you remember, but I, there was a hurricane where I was at. And look at how bad it got. I mean, it was just rough. But anyways, if you want to follow me and see my daily sales on uh, Merch by Amazon on Instagram, make sure to follow me. The link will be in the description. Okay, now let's get into the content of the video. So there's two Christmas niches that are doing very well right now on uh, Merch by Amazon, but are they safe? And the first one is this one right here that says most likely to, and then it's basically any type of Christmas saying. So you're going to see here like most likely to decorate her dog, most likely to offer Santa beer most likely to hate this shirt, most likely to, you know, open all the presents, most likely to be the grumpiest. I mean, there's just so many different saying niches, you know, that you can do. I mean, you could scale this like forever, you know, and we're going to see that these uh, designs are selling very well. 158,000, 474, 285, 60. And well, these first three are not even uh, in the climate pledge friendly category you know so they're just selling very well and it's pretty easy to design for and it's really scalable so like for me as a merch buy seller this is very tempting you know and if we go to etsy we're going to see they're also selling very well like these big group shirts right here red bubble you know also lots of designs selling t public as well but the only thing though is that there is a trademark pending for this and i remember this niche actually started to pop off last year i actually uploaded some designs into this niche but I actually ended up deleting them because there is a trademark uh, pending for the phrase most likely to so if we just go back here and we type in most likely to and then click on live and hit enter we're going to see that this one right here most likely uh, is, uh, is the pay the trademark is pending and we're gonna see it's in the 0 to 25 which is the clothing and uh, t-shirt category and right here we're gonna see shirts t-shirts long sleeves now technically um, you know it's not live yet because it doesn't have a registration number in my course I teach you how to read and understand trademarks the link is in the description um, but you know like if like technically someone whoever has this trademark can't issue or submit takedowns on merch by amazon because it doesn't have a registration number you know so um you know technically it's still okay but me personally i'm just going to stay away from this because i mean it could get a registration number tomorrow in a month i don't want to have to deal with that i don't want to have to spend a whole bunch of a whole bunch of time you know uploading these and then you know maybe tomorrow i see that has a registration number and i just wasted all that time now to each their own you know if you want to go ahead and try in this niche you can go for it but I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing and me, I'm just gonna stay away from it because I don't wanna waste my time or maybe even end up risking my account, even though it's very tempting because you know this niche, as we can see here, is selling very well. You know, it's pretty easy to design for. I like how you can get creative with it and come up with different, you know, funny sayings. But me personally, I'm just going to stay away from it. There's going to be so many other Christmas niches that we can get into. Uh, make sure you watch my video from yesterday. I had, I think, like six low competition niches. You know, those are good ones. There's going to be more that pop off as we get closer to Christmas. So, you know, to each their own. If you want to jump into this niche, I mean, like I said, to each their own. Me personally, I'm just going to stay away from it because, you know, the trademark is pending and I just don't want to have to deal with that basically. All right. 
And then the second Christmas niche that I think is a little risky to get into is this one right here that says Santa's favorite. And this is also another scalable one. Uh, we're going to see what some of the designs look like. Um, but basically, you can just come up with one design and you can just change it out for so many different things, demographics, careers, professions. You can get creative and come up with, you know, uh, favorite sa uh, funny sayings like Santa's favorite rower. We got uh, Santa's favorite radiation therapist, Santa's favorite helper. I mean, there's so many different Santa's favorite school bus driver, Santa's favorite I probably want to do something like that. Uh, but Santa's favorite auditor, Santa's favorite quilter. You can see you can just get really uh, creative or just, you know, scale it into so many different niches. We can see that it's selling, you know, so this is also really tempting as well. And when I went to Creative Fabric, I actually even found a whole bunch of designs um, that came with a special license. It's like Santa's favorite nurse, Santa's favorite t-shirt. You know, and in my opinion, these are actually pretty good designs. And this seller actually has a whole bunch. He has like 30 or 50 of like this where he did the same thing where he just basically scaled it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to jump into this. I'm going to take all these. And I'm going to pop them off onto Merch by Amazon, run some ads, and I'll probably get some sales. But when I checked uh, the trademark to for Santa's favorite, I actually found a... Um, this one right here so let me just go back Santa's favorite I like to um, filter it by live hit enter and if we click on this second one right here there's actually a trademark that it's not pending it's basically live and has a registration number so this one right here Santa's favorite we're going to see it's in the 025 clothing category clothing namely shirts sweatshirts and dresses so I'm not too sure how these are getting through on merch by amazon maybe they were uploaded a year ago and you know i don't know basically that's why it can be some sometimes kind of confusing you know you see something trademarked but then it's getting through on merch by amazon me personally you know i don't want to have to deal with this maybe you're in a different situation and you just like are more willing to risk it but you know me i don't want to have to and have up designs that you know have uh, trademarks because again you know this is one of my main sources of income you know i got a wife i got a kid you know i have to support them so i'm not really willing to risk that because merch by amazon is one of my biggest um income incomes that i receive on a monthly basis so i just basically don't want to mess with that and actually i got 17 rejections the other day i forgot i forgot to show you guys that because i actually deleted it but i was uploading a bunch of christmas designs and i was doing in my merry wifey area and it went into review and I ended up getting 17 rejections. So that's, that's always kind of like nerve wracking. Every time I get a rejection, I kind of like uh, freak out a little bit. Take a couple of days off um, and I always delete them. That's a good tip to know. Every time you get a rejection, I would recommend you delete it. That's why I have zero here, but I have gotten lots of rejections over the years. I don't get that many, but every now and then I make a mistake and, you know, I check trademarks, didn't see anything, but for some reason. So if you're doing any of the era designs, you know, the wifey era, um, I would recommend staying away from because I got a rejection on it. But going back to Santa's favorite, you know, again, very tempting because look at all these good designs, but there's a trademark for it. So me personally, I'm going to stay away from it. You guys obviously do what you want, but I would probably recommend that you stay away from it as well. Like I mentioned about the uh, previous niche, there's going to be a whole bunch of, uh, you know, other Christmas niches that we can get into that we can make money from. So my advice would be to probably just skip this one. Again, do what you want. Me personally, I'm going to uh, stay away from it. But that is going to be the video for today. Just kind of a short one. I just want to get these uh, this information out to you to let you know in case you were thinking about me uploading into these uh, niches that you might want to consider maybe staying away from them and thinking about maybe other niches. Um, but comment below. What do you think? Do you think I'm overreacting? Do you think these niches are safe? Do you think they're fine? Comment below. I read all your comments. I love responding to all of your comments and I will respond to all your comments. So make sure to comment uh, your thoughts below. If you're look if you're struggling to get sales on merch by amazon or even even on redbubble i have two courses in the description there are courses that i have on udemy they're good for beginners or for people struggling to get sales on merch by amazon or redbubble i will teach you how i get sales like this right here um, i'm not the best merch by amazon seller but i do pretty good you know i'm averaging like uh, 60 bucks a day this month which is pretty good in my opinion especially if you're not from the united states you know i live in mexico things are a lot cheaper here so if you can make, you know, a couple thousand bucks a month, um, you know, you're living pretty good. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video today. If you're looking for more niche ideas, check out my YouTube uh, playlist. The video's there. I post a whole bunch of videos about like trending niches, evergreen niches, low competition niches, niches that are like kind of outside of the box. So if you're kind of stuck, don't know what to design for, watch those videos, get some ideas. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video. I just want to thank everybody that has been watching and supporting me. I really appreciate all the likes and the comments. So just want to send some appreciation appreciating out to you guys.
Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much. And next video, I'm going to have some more trending niches for you guys because I know you guys like that stuff or low competition niches. All right. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Um, God bless. Adios.